So this video explains how to import GBXML into MEP work. So here we have our building. So typically in this case in Revit, the architect will write, or you can do that, the GBXML export to GBXML um, using the room space and volume information. That then gives you all of the geometry that you can write to the GBXML file. So here we are in MEP work. So in order to write the file, what we need to do is on the file menu, we import GBXML rooms. This brings up the GBXML import editor where we then browse and go and pick up our GBXML file from the location we save it in. So we select our XML file, open it up, and that will list all the rooms. Now in this case, it's cited one space. Because the plant room uh, we haven't defined in Revit, it's seeing a disparity between the geometry and the, the, the um, rooms that have been taken off. So in this case, the plant room doesn't really matter. So we can progress with that. This also allows you to um, select spaces. So you can deselect and select spaces um, when importing the geometry. So this is particular, particularly useful when you're revising a floor plan, which there's a future video for. Um, you can deselect the spaces that uh, don't change, merely select the spaces you do want to bring in. Then all you do is select import and then you have all of your floor plans and rooms listed um, as depicted here. So this then allows you to bring in all of the rooms in one operation. So instead of defining the rooms by hand, um, you can bring in the geometry. It's also worth asking, actually, when you get 2D or what you think are 2D DWG files from an architect in DXF format, they might have actually sourced these from 3D. So it's worth asking the question whether they are using a 3D package, and if they are, can they send you the GBXML because it makes the turnaround of a project a lot quicker. Um, so, you know, you may think that you're getting a, a DXF from a 2D source when actually, in fact, it could be 3D. The architect has to click in the space in order to determine the floor area and volumes and to name the space. So they have to click in the space to determine the parameters on the room. And in doing so, that creates geometry. So all they have to do is file, export to GBXML and provide you with that data. So um, that will allow for a much quicker turnaround on a project. If you ask the right questions, then you might be pleasantly surprised that you actually get that geometry and you're able to feed in the information very, very quickly.